treble clef and the five lines, so that creates your staff. Okay, S T A F F. Now the way that it works is that a staff only has five lines. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So now a staff only has five, has has five lines. The way that it works is that if a piece of music goes higher than this note, you somehow have to make the the staff expand both upwards and downwards if you have to. Now remember, if a piece of music or if a note's going down, that's get that's going down to the bass. Okay. If a note's going up, that's going towards treble. So the way that it works is that if I wanted to expand this, I could very well draw a whole line across here, okay? Or if I wanted to go down, I could draw another line going across here and then expand the whole staff all the way up and, uh, and all the way down. The thing is that when you're reading a piece of music, you would never really be able to keep on track with what every line is doing. Okay, like here, like I have like ten, you know, like eight, nine, ten lines now. You would never be able to read that in a piece of music. There's too much, in, there's too much information there. You need to know where your bass line is. Like here's E. Okay, you would never know where that line is. So now what ledger lines do is instead of putting the whole line across, all it does is it puts a little niche of a line. So if this note's going down to here. Instead of doing a whole line going across, it just gives you a little line. And so I'm going to erase this part, and then there's your ledger line. Okay? Now I'm going to erase this up top here, too. So here's your five main lines, and as everyone may know, it's every good boy does fine. Right? E G B D F and, and if you don't know, then just refer back to my other videos where where I explain the notes on the staff. But here you have every good boy does fine. If I were to go lower than this line right here, once again I would just put another ledger line. And then another one going even lower. And that's it. And that's all ledger lines do is that they make it a, they make it legible so that you can literally go all the way down. Now, if I wanted to, I could draw a line all the way across here, and all these ledger lines would connect. But it, it just makes it more visual, and the same thing going up. So that this note right here is F, okay? Oh, no, sorry. This note, I was looking at the wrong note. This note right here is F, this note's G. If I wanted to go higher than a G, I would just use a little ledger line and go to, go to the next line, which is A. The next space which is B, and then the next line, again, which is C. And so I'm going to show you this literally on my desktop where you guys will actually be able to see what it is that I'm talking about. So let me go here, and uh, let me take this and go like this. All right, here's ledger lines right here. But now let's take this note. All right, here's your E. I'm going to zoom up and let me go like this. Okay? I'm going to take this note, this E, and I'm going to move up. Here's a G, there's an A, B, here's a C, D, E, F, G. Now watch what happens when I go up. There's my ledger line. See it? I'll, I'll zo zoom in. There's, there's your ledger line. There's your A. Here's a B, there's a C. Alright? And so if I want to go down, here's a G, F, E, here's a D, here's a C, here's a B, here's an A. And so notice all of those letter lines, what they do, and that they make the piece of music that much more easy. Okay? And let me draw the five staves, or the, fi the five lines to make a stave. Three, four, five. Now, this note is E, okay, and the way that when you sight read music is that it goes up one letter at a time. So this is E, the next space is going to be F, and then it just walks up the alphabet. So the next line is going to be G, and then after G, there's only, there's only seven notes in music, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. After this G, it goes right back to A, okay, this A is seven notes away from this A. And then um, 
not to get too confused, but being that it is in an archive uh, video, that if you don't understand it, you, you can always go backwards and watch it again, is that if I take this keyboard and I say that there's only seven notes in music, well, look, this note right here, let's do this one, this note here is in A. So if I walk up, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, it, 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 it just repeats again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And it repeats again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So here you have this piano is only seven notes that is just repeated over and, and over and over and over again. So, um, oh, thanks. Someone just wrote, my friend says you're a good teacher. Uh, tell your friend I think that he or she is a good student. Um, all right, so let me turn this back and go back to the board here. So uh, here we have A, B, C, D, F, and G. There's only seven notes in music. So here we have E is on the first line. The first line on a, a, on a treble clef is E, okay? The next, the first space is F. The next line is G. Next, the next is A. Now the reason why it's A and not H is because there's only seven notes in music. There's no H. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. After G, it goes right back to A. So here we have A. The, the next line is going to be B. Next line is C, D, we walk up the alphabet, E, F, and then G. Now, here's where, the, here's where the actual ledger line comes in. Here, I'm at a G right here, which if I were to write that down as a piece of, in a piece of music, it, it would be that note. Okay? Let me do it in black so that you guys can understand or can kind of see it so that the camera picks it up a little bit better. Here, let me do it in black. Okay, there's the note G in a piece of music. If I take that note G and I go up, it would be up here to the next line. But like I said, in, that in ledger lines, you don't want the whole line because that gets confusing because then now you have six lines here instead of five. So let's take that out. And the way that ledger lines work is that you, you only add the line for that one little section of the note. Okay? And the same here is that if I were to go down, or roll here, let me go higher. Here's the next space. Okay? So here's a G. The next line, of course, as you would know by now, here's G. Or, well, that might get confusing. But here's G right here. This next note is A. And this next space, of course, would be B. So, let's take that. And I would like to try something new here. Let me do a picture-in-picture uh, picture of my desktop. Okay? This is the first time that I'm, that I'm, that I'm doing this. There you have it. Here's the ledger line. This note is A. If I were to move up, uh, let's say that I move up to here. If I were to move up from this A, there's a B. There's a C. Okay? So now you can actually see, literally, here's A. Uh, let me take a note and delete it. Here's A. G. A. B. C. And so, like I said before, there's your first line on, on treble clef. Okay? Let me uh, try and do this. Uh... No, it's not working. Let me just zoom out. Okay, so here's your first line on treble clef. There's your E, and then just walk up every note. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And it continues forever, all the way up, and all the way down. Okay, so I'm going to break.